What's going on everybody? How's everybody doing out there? Well, today I'm going to bring you a small update on my N-Scale layout. And it is a small update. Still working on the Sea of Pink Foam Nightmare and trying to fix that back corner where the gopher hole is at. And as I said, uh, figure out something for that back, back corner since I've changed everything up. I did figure out what I'm going to do back there. I'm going to give you a tiny, tiny peek of my paper mock-up of what I'm going to put back there. But I'm going to leave you guessing on it. Most of you who know me definitely know what it's going to be. But if you've never seen it or never heard of it, you won't know what it is. So that'll be a video later to come. First, I'm going to bring you a very brief mail call. And as you know, i got my pegboard back there where I collect mugs. Threw the names in the hat. And this time I pulled out the Flying Crow. So I picked up Robert's mug this time. We'll throw our names back in the hat and see what the next mug will be. So I'll leave a link in the description. Stop by and see Robert's channel, The Flying Crow. He's got an awesome layout and a big ass shed. So it's pretty cool. He's got a big switching operation that he does. He goes live doing it. It's fun to watch. Also remember, a lot of the channels out there have their own Teespring accounts. You can go into their descriptions and find them. You can pick up their mugs as well. Don't forget I have one. You can pick up a mug, a glass tumbler for your adult beverage, some stickers, or a t-shirt. But definitely stop by everybody's descriptions and check out their merch. Alright, let's move on to the mail call. As you guys may recall that I had purchased the frame from Jerry Satterelli from Satterelli Woodworking or Boxcar Jerry YouTube channels. And since I liked it so much, I commissioned him to make another one for my NS family portrait for the Heritage Units. Once again, we chose Sapelli Wood, and this frame turned out just as beautiful. Please stop by the description, check out Jerry's links. And now, like I said, if you have pictures that you want framed, be sure to check out Jerry first. He will make you a beautiful frame. I love this frame. I love Jerry's work. It's awesome. This right here is a very special mail call. This comes from Ian from the Lehigh River Subdivision. He wanted to send me a modeling care package for reaching 1,000 subs, basically a congratulatory gift, and I really appreciate it. Got this beautiful cab over truck, tractor trailer set up. He sent me a nice farmhouse, which I'm going to dub Ian's house, and a couple samples from uh, Long Shadows Trees, and we got a Micro Trains Reading and Northern Coal Hopper. And this, he also equipped with Tangent Model Metal Wheel Sets. Wanted me to see how they roll, how they turn out. This is a very special mail call right here. I really appreciate Ian thinking of me this way. And a big shout out goes to Ian from the Lehigh River Subdivision. I will definitely leave his link in the description. So please go to the description and check out anybody I mentioned in this video. Be sure to check out their pages. Check out what they have to offer. Ian's got a great layout started in his basement. And I love his Taruka Viaduct. I just can't get enough of that. Please go check it out. So I've become a member of the N-Scale Enthusiasts. And they send you five issues of the NSE magazine. You get free classified ads. 25 free listings on Trostar.com. There's annual N-Scale conventions. Which this year is in Nashville. On June 15th through the 19th. You get several auctions and sales of collector quality items and opportunities to purchase limited edition special runs. And as being a member, they also send you a special club car such as this. This is honoring our first responders box car. It's a plug door box car by Microtrains. And this is my 2021 free gift. It's a pretty awesome car. It is exclusive to N-Scale Enthusiast members only. Now this lot is for a project that I'm working on for the corner of the gopher hole, which you will see in a minute. You only get a brief look. I'm not telling you what it is. But these are some of the products I've been waiting on to do the build. These are uh, hand railings, windows from Titchy Train Group, and 10 little tiny porch lights, basically, which you'll see... Uh, five different packages. I ended up having to go to five different places to get them. So it's been a, quite an adventure trying to collect the parts to build this next project. And as you see right here, this is a Z-scale track. 
that is for another project down the road but it did come in on my mail call so i included it on this one but the z scale track is for a whole nother project and this is a 3D printed maintenance of way truck. It's a single axle. I wanted the double axle, but they was out of stock at the time I placed the order. But I will eventually get it. So Phantom Hobbies, uh, I came across them from Dave Thurber's channel, The Crooked River and Eastern. I'll put a link in the description. And as I mentioned, the description. A lot of times you guys miss out on some things by not reading the descriptions. You know, people take the, a lot of time putting in their descriptions, information, links channel information shout outs so when you guys are watching videos be sure to stop by everybody's description see what they got in there they might have other videos you might like or like this phantom hobbies you know dave had put a link i checked them out and they had something for me well maybe they have something for you so stop by and check out the crooked river and eastern and check out the phantom hobbies and please be sure to read everybody's descriptions don't just bypass them you may miss out on some good stuff as you can see, this is only five parts, so it's not going to be too hard. You just got to paint it up. So when I get that done, I will show it to you again and see how it turned out. And lastly, a little shameless plug for me. Most of us have Teespring accounts where you can buy our merch, you know, mugs, hats, t-shirts, stickers. Well, this is a hat pin I had made up separate. So if you would like one with uh, shipping and handling plus the hat pin, it's about $12. Just drop me an email and I'll be sure to get one out to you. Thanks. All right, now on to the update of the layout. Let's see where this goes. So what's been happening is I've been slowly building up the scene to get the top of the gopher hole. So I started with the road level. I started building up the... It's going to be a rock wall, basically. There's a slight road shape in right there. Over top of the gopher hole, I started the general raising, I guess, to that back corner. I did figure out what I'm putting there. And that's the back corner. That's pretty much just the general layout. I will still build up on the sides to, you know, shape these parts. A lot more to go, but I'm, I'm mapping out the general shape for that back corner. Because I know what's going there. I did a paper mock-up. I'll put the paper mock up there and see what you think. But I won't tell you what it is. There it is. For those who know me, you know exactly what that is. For those who don't, you have to wait and see. Now nah, we're slowly getting some better looking shapes here. So it's, it's definitely shaping up. Now we're really starting to get a feel for what's going on up here. Well, it wasn't much of an update, but I... Hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. You have finally seen that I am making some progress on the big gopher hole. And uh, that little sneak peek of the back corner, some of you may have already guessed what it is. But if you don't, that's what some of that mail call was definitely about. Getting the parts and pieces to actually start working on that project. So the paper mock-up got me as far as I could go until the mail call. Now I'll start working on that. Please stay tuned for... The final results of what that corner is going to be meanwhile i'll continue progress on the gopher hole and get some of that more shaped and worked out finalized basically and don't forget to go into the description and check out uh, maybe dave thurber's uh, page since i mentioned him and also robert's page go to everybody's uh, channel that you stop by and you see their description and you know maybe pick up their merch grab a mug a sticker a t-shirt all right, well, until next time, don't cost nothing. Hit that button, like, share, subscribe. Pappy out.